All right, guys, so I was just on my way up to the junkyard in the PTGT, and I heard a loud clunk, or bang, whatever you want to call it, and I'm like, oh, geez, what was that? So I go to slow down and turn around or pull over or do something, and my brake pedal goes all the way to the floor. That's never a good thing. So I pull over, and I look, and my rear brake caliper was dragging by the brake hose. That's, yeah, I don't know why it did that. And there's brake fluid leaking all over the place. So, uh, this is really weird. So I, as you can see, I bungeed the, the brake caliper up under the car so it at least wasn't dragging along the ground and um, limped it back home. I'm gonna pull in the shop right now and jack it up. Let's check it out and see what the heck is going on. Alright, with the wheel out of the way, as far as I can tell, the bolts just like vanished out of the caliper. Which makes absolutely no sense. I know I I mean I am not smart at all, but I'm don't think I'm stupid enough that I would actually not torque the bolts down in the caliper mounting bracket. I, I think I think I am slightly above that. What I am afraid of now is are the brake pads actually damaged? So I'm gonna pull them off and take a look at them. Hopefully when they popped off it didn't damage them too much but also there's fluid leaking which could be another issue. Hopefully I don't have to replace the brake hose as well but we shall see. Alright so I may have to replace the pads as you can see. I mean I don't know if the, the cracking look on them is normal but uh, this pad, as you can see, uh, that got bent in the process. This, the pads don't look too happy, as you can see. So, I don't know, I may have to get new pads, but one thing's for sure, I gotta get new caliper mounting bolts, or whatever you wanna call them. And I'm gonna have to add brake fluid. Um, it turns out this was actually loose. Um, I'm assuming this is the bleeder valve. I don't know why it was loose, but tightened it down and now there's no more fluid coming out. So I do not understand though why it came out. I don't think I would be dumb enough to not torque bolts down. I mean, I suppose I, I'm definitely capable of it, but definitely after this, gonna go around and, and check the torque on all the bolts. I'm also gonna clean things up a little with a little bit of brake parts cleaner. So I just made the decision that I was going to try to reuse the old brake pads for now and I was going to see about ordering some new ones for cheap and then replacing them this next week. But as soon as I went to try to bend this tab back on this brake pad, it busted right off. So I guess I can get new. These are the guide pins, mounting bolts, but I can get the new hardware right at Napa and a few things like that. So I'm going to stop down there and see what I can do. Alright guys, back a little while later, I stopped at NAFTA and picked up some new brake pads and I picked up some brake fluid because obviously it's low. I don't know if it's DOT4 or what the heck, but I'm going to look that up. I'm hoping that I bought the right stuff because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing as usual, right? But what they did not have at NAFTA was the bolts. I found online you can usually get like the uh, guide pins here that go in the rubber. Not the rubber bushing, but the actual guide pin in there, the kit, and it comes with the the hardware, the bolts as well for usually the rear calipers and front calipers. They do not like, it's not like they didn't have them in stock, but they like, you could not find them in the computer for the rear on this car. So I guess what I'm just gonna have to do is try to figure out, maybe go online and research, or might even look around the shop here and see if I have some bolts laying around that'll work, but just try to find bolts that'll fit. So that's the next thing to do. So I was hoping to have the car back running again by the end of the day, but. It's not looking like it. It's like 5.30 or 6 now, and uh, still having issues. So, unless I get real lucky, looks like this is gonna be <laughs> two days without a car. All right guys, well back the next day. It's pretty miserable looking outside. Rainy on and off, really nasty, but at least it's not freezing cold for a change. So I still gotta get new bolts for the caliper, but I just had a brilliant idea. Why don't I just pull the other rear wheel pull one bolt out of the caliper and bring it with me over to tractor supplier someplace and use it to get it new bolts for the other side. Simple enough, right? And then I can check the torque on those bolts. I'll probably end up pulling the front wheels, checking the torque on them, maybe even greasing the guide pins 
on the alum. Just double checking everything now, making sure everything is A-OK -okay before I hit the road again. So I think that's what I'm going to do, especially since the rear end's already jacked up. I can just yank this wheel off real quick, pull one of the bolts out, and then we'll head over to Tractor Supply. Right, and here we go. All right guys, so I guess I'll check back in with you when I get back from picking up some more of these. All right guys, back a while later. It actually warmed up really nice out. It's really, really nice out today, so I got the doors open. Also, just went and got my bolts. So that's what I'm gonna throw in there for now. That'll, that'll work just fine. So this should be pretty simple. Just gonna throw the brake pads on throw the caliper on and we're good to go and then I'm gonna to have to fill and bleed the brakes which I've never bled brakes before so that's gonna be an interesting experience so anyways without further ado let's get that caliper bolted back on alright so I just got all the calipers on and the bolts torqued correctly this time they said online 16 foot pounds I think it was for the rear brake pins and 20 for the front but my torque wrench goes down to 20 so I just did 20 I figure that'll be just fine. Here it is, all reinstalled, and you can see that's where it got dragged a little bit. Luckily the hose is still in good condition and everything seems to be all right. There's no more leaks or anything like that. It's the other side, still looking just fine. Something I noticed is this brake rotor's worn already. It looks like it has marks in it, and possibly caliper was rubbing and doing all kinds of crazy stuff because it was loose. I don't know, but gotta still add fluid and bleed the brakes. I looked in the manual, I actually don't have a manual, but I found one online, PDF, and they said DOT3 whatever blah 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 fluid is recommended to use, but if it's unavailable, DOT4 is acceptable. Okay, so guess what? I'm going to use DOT4. It'll be fine, right? So here is the reservoir right here, I do believe. definitely low so I think I'm gonna to try to top it off and then we'll get them bleated and hopefully the car is okay now actually it just got in the car and brake pedal feels good so maybe I won't have to to uh, add fluid and bleed the brakes after all well we do indeed have a brake light on now so obviously I do need to add some fluid so I think I'm just gonna add a little. It's worst scenario, we have to flush out the braking system, but we're almost finished. There we go, add a little fluid and now the brake light's gone. So let's take it out for a spin and see how things feel. All right guys, we're going out for a quick little spin here. The brakes feel perfectly fine. So I'm gonna hit them right now. Car slows right down and I don't, they don't feel mushy or anything like that. So I think we're good to go. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to keep a close eye on everything. I'm going to double check, check the torque after driving it for a little bit and things like that. And hopefully we are good to go again and no more, no more accidents like that. Whew, it smells terrible. And it's smoking. I'm hoping maybe just some brake fluid accidentally leaked onto the whatever, something. I'm going to check it for leaks and when it cools down, I'm going to douse everything with brake cleaner. Oh, that's nasty. Block out the haters. So, I guess the car is fixed now. Hold on, it's too pretty. You, it, you gotta look at it. I got it. I got it washed. It looks really good right now. Just look at it. Here, let's let's stand back even further so you can see. That looks awesome. 
Anyways, I think we're good now. I think everything's fixed. Besides the fact that some of the fluid leaked on, I think on the rotor or something, and made it smell terrible. But I power washed real good up in there when I washed the car, and that should be good now. So we're gonna go. PT's back on the road. I hate to drive it now that it rained because it's just gonna end up looking terrible again. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little vlog style take you along Channel CG video. I, whenever something like this happens, I always just whip the camera out and start taking you guys along. Actually, this whole video, I did not use a tripod one time, partly because I just wanted to see if I could do it, and also partly because I was lazy. Congratulations to me, I guess. I don't know. So watch for this next week. I'm hoping, really hoping for three videos somehow this week. Since this happened and it took up a couple days of time, things have been delayed, so I was hoping to have three videos out this week and that ended up not happening. I had a video out, I think, Tuesday. And then this is coming out for Sunday. Got some really exciting stuff coming here in the near future, so be sure to go subscribe if you have not already watched for new uploads every Sunday as always. And again, guys, thanks for watching. You rock. God bless, and I will see you in the next one.